This is a lesson about the calculation of the mean of a set of data. In the following example, we are going to look at some data that was accumulated. Now, in this case, the data that was accumulated was done by Joan. Joan is an athletics coach for middle distance runners. Her athletes ran an 800 meter time trial and she recorded the finishing times in seconds of all the athletes who took part as follows. Before we start doing our calculation, let us just try to make sense of what is happening here. Here we have a value of 800 meter. Are we supposed to include that value of 800 meter when we are going to do the calculation for the mean? If you think about an athletics track, there's usually a starting point and then the athletes start running. If they complete a whole lap running once around the whole athletics track, then they, have, they ran 400 meter. So these learners, they started at the starting point and they ran once and a second time twice around the athletics track to cover the 800 meter. So the 800 meter is just telling me how far did this, um, uh, this runners run. It doesn't, it's not going to influence the calculation of my mean. Now just to make sure that you, um, you know, some people refer to the mean as the average. What does that mean if we are calculating the mean or then the average? It means that if all these athletes that were running, all 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 of them, if all of them were running that 800 meter in the same time, it would have been the time of the mean. How do we calculate the mean? We are going to make use of the following formula. We are going to get the sum of all the values that appear in this data set. And we're going to divide it by the number of data in the data set. So, to get the sum of all the values of data, you must remember the word, the sum of means add. So what I'm going to do, I am going to add all the values that I'm having in this data set. We are going to add the values. That is what the word the sum of mean. So if we go back, here is my calculator now on the screen. I'm going to add the values 160 plus 145 plus 160 again plus 148 plus 164 150 the second row 165 152 155 166 There you are. We have added all the values that appear in that data set. Okay, so all the different times. I'm not going to write out the calculation right here now, but after I have added, I see that my answer is, you can see here on the calculator, 1,893. If I now divide this value, so here on the calculator, I am going to put in my value of 1,893, and then I'm going to divide by 12. Now this calculator that I'm using is using this sign to indicate division. On your calculator, it may be the ordinary division sign that you are used to. So if I now divide by 12, you will see that I have an answer of 157 comma 75. Now remember to always check in the instructions of your paper up to how many decimal places an answer must be given. And in general the instruction is 
up to two decimal numbers unless we say something specifically in a question. So I'm going to give this answer as 157,75. And this is just the mean time. So this is in seconds. The mean time that the average, uh, the average or the mean time that it took the athletes to run around the uh, athletics track two times finishing 800 meters. Then to summarize, what do we do when we calculate the mean of a set of data? We add the values of each of these data in the set. The 160 plus the 145 plus 160 plus 148, 164 plus 150, 165 plus 152 plus 155 plus 166 plus 158 plus 170. We add all of them together. And then we divide by the number of data that is appearing in the set. And when we counted them, we saw that there were 12 numbers in this data set. Then we divide the value where we added all the values by the number of data in the set, and I get my answer.